Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the How To series. The series where we learn how to dominate on the battlefield. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on how to use our mobility effectively. There's a difference between having mobility and using mobility and I'm going to show you how to use it effectively so that you can almost guarantee victory. I am playing my standard B. This is the first game that I've played in this tank. Uh, there's no need to know anything about the attributes of the tank. Just simply take it out and if you do have mobility, use it. I initially head towards the northwest portion of the map here where the game is usually decided, but I have no intention of heading that way. Simply a matter of trying to encourage my teammates to go there while I have other plans of heading towards the southeast. As you can see, my tank is fairly mobile, so I did not lose very much time in pulling off that maneuver, and I did encourage most of the people that spawned in the northwest portion of the map to head that way. If I would have uh, headed directly here, I'm sure a few of the inexperienced players in the northwest would have tried to follow me. Now, I've spotted this lynx heading in this direction to uh, detect for his team, and of course, my teammates have not noticed him and will all blunder forward and get uh, spotted and annihilated. So I choose to hide behind these trees to preserve my HP, which will uh, be necessary for my team to win later. As you can see, my teammates there are spotted and will be shot from any of the enemies that are in the middle uh, portion of the map, where we do not have a teammate to counter detect them. So obviously the most important thing for me to do after trying to take a cheeky shot here is to retreat and sacrifice these teammates. It's clear to any experienced player that this flank is lost and it is best to sacrifice their inexperience and keep your gun in the game longer. And of course use your mobility to change flanks. Now this uh, super Persian gets in my way. It slows me down slightly but that's okay. I will just go to the other side of the map now and use mobility. Remember, mobility is what this video is about. And as you can see, I have traveled farther than any of my teammates so far. And it is a simple choice, really. You can stay immobile in an area where you are out-detected and outgunned, or you can use your mobility to move to a different part of the map where you have more of an advantage. Now, the advantage on this side of the map is that there are many teammates still alive which the enemies can focus on while I win the game. So I'll just move into position here, hoping that this tank could ascend this hill a little bit faster, but this being my very first game, I'm not uh, totally up to speed with its attributes. All I need to do now is get to that ridge line and simply take out the enemies one by one while my teammates blunder into their guns and absorb their fire. So here we go. Uh, simple. You just need to isolate one of your teammates who is being the most irrational. There we go, the KV-5. He will absorb enemy fire while we poke the ridge line and fire back at anyone who may be reloading. Now there, he has died, so we have exactly 14.23 seconds to fire back at this T-30. And uh, counting backwards now, I realize that I can only take two shots, but two shots is all that will be needed to take him out before he reloads his gun. Thank you, KV-5, for that uh, damage. Unfortunately, you did not receive any assist damage for your blunder. Now we simply poke this ridge line, and before aiming, just snap a quick shot at the side of this turret. That's easy to do. You do not move your turret. You do not burden yourself with the penalty while your turret is moving, and can easily snap shots like that. Now, I do use my mobility here to put myself in the perfect position to kill another enemy, but unfortunately one of my inexperienced teammates in the T-95 has died in my way, which means I do not get that kill. Well, you cannot count on your teammates doing everything for you correctly. Their inexperience sometimes results in you having less damage in a game. The KV-5 helped, but the T-95 blocked. RNG, it simply averages out. And now it's a matter of taking out this SU, which is easily done. I have three shots, so I do not need to be very accurate or very uh, focused here. I just simply uh, shoot, and eventually one will go in and take him out. Uh, back up now and get into cover. Let my teammates get shot so that they detect for me and decide who to shoot next. Now, of course, this is all about mobility, so... Here we go, we're not going to stay in the same spot. Let's use our mobility and move. Now again, one of my inexperienced teammates failed to knock down this little wall earlier in the game, so I do not get a shot. 
that's okay let's now move into a different position where can I use my teammates HP to help me now let's move towards this pat now the t10 will absorb shots there he goes he's absorbed some big shots so that i can use my mobility and i will just get myself in a position where i can take out this spg but he's accidentally positioned himself behind a house lucky for him keep driving keep moving stay on the move like a cat like a cat attacking its prey i will use my speed and momentum now i've calculated how much hp that Patton has i have three shots that's not enough to kill him so i'll have to do something fancy here let's leap through the air auto lock and take the first shot do a ramming maneuver and then with my two remaining shots easily take him out before he can turn his turret and even know i'm here thank you teammates once again for distracting and absorbing the enemy shots while i pull off my maneuver using my Yes, you guessed it. Mobility. And now I'm counting on my teammates to run around aimlessly and get focused down by the enemies while I move into positions to shoot carefully. I realize at this point that the HP that I have remaining is the only chance we have of victory, so I must maintain my health. Let's just follow behind my teammates here and see who they can spot. There we go. They spotted someone. I will go take him out. As they absorb more damage... We'll just crest this hill. Oh, and they've taken him out. Okay, so they've, uh, there is one teammate that has helped. He has managed to take out an 18 HP tank. Hooray! Which uh, I, I would have done easily, but they did that. So let's, uh, let's now circumvent the map and put these enemies into a uh, pincer-type flanking maneuver. I call help just to let my teammates know that I'm doing this. Sometimes... Uh, inexperienced players will not have their mini maps on or even uh, view them but if you do ping help they will hear a ping bell sound sometimes making them look at the map so they notice where you are I have no intention of capping because I'm pretty sure that I can get back in time using my mobility and any enemies will not expect me coming from this direction there are three enemies remaining. My two teammates are both blundering towards the cap in the open, which is good. They can absorb more damage and possibly even reset for me. While I use my mobility here to win by no cap kill all. There they go. They have still not detected the enemy in the cap because they're approaching from the wrong direction. But God bless them. They will try their best and the SU-130PM has detected the PZ-4 but will die and it allows the Russian tank that's still on the ridge line to take him out now let's just snap this shot we don't need to aim that that's of course an easy shot for me while I'm on the move I'm detected so what do you do when you're detected you use your mobility to relocate so that the enemies cannot shoot you back now there is only one enemy left it is a turretless TD, so simply by knowing that he has a gun that points out of one end of his tank, and he has three sides of his tank which are not very dangerous, it's simply a matter of avoiding the dangerous end. So what we do here is approach, uh, whip off a tracking shot on the move, and let him use his repair kit. Once he does that, track him again. That's easy. Now I can let my gun reload so that I have two shells in the magazine. Let's see how long it takes him to repair. Does it take? Yes, he repairs before I can reload. So that's easy. We'll just go around behind him. Fully aware that I would not do damage with those three shots, wanting him simply to use up his one or two repair kits that he can have one shot in the rear. And now just pull off a maneuver to get behind him before he can turn around. My teammate gets a lucky shot there which robbed me of a little bit of damage. And now it's just simply a matter of playing with this inexperienced TD player like a cat would play with a mouse, using the longest reload time for this tank to pump shot after shot after shot into his rear and easily win the game. We will have a look at the post-game stats here so you can see the domination that I uh, unleashed upon the enemy team here using my mobility, going left, going right, circumventing the map, showing up everywhere where I was needed unexpectedly, like a panther prowling through the jungle. I will also let you watch this replay as it unfolded in real time so that you can fully understand that hindsight did not enable me to do this commentary in such a way to make myself look good.
Notice the calm and focused way in which I have performed this commentary. This is exactly how I play and how I roll. I hope by watching this series it will enable you to dominate more on the battlefield like I do. And perhaps eventually you will achieve a fraction of my dominance and uh, skill uh, by watching uh, everything I do and learning from me. People would pay, if they had an option, put in your credit card and you will, uh, you will have a 60, you'll have a 75, 70% 70 win rate if you enter your credit card here, it costs a dollar a game. Do you know how many people would actually pay that? Because they're so fixated on, uh, on that stat. Actually, I shouldn't say that. If Wargaming heard that, they would probably, that would be like, that's a great idea. You know, enter your credit card number and we'll ensure through manipulation and matchmaking and special RNG that you'll win 70% of your games. There you go. You know how many people, you laugh, right? You think I'm kidding. Do you know how many people would buy that and spend a dollar a game? I'm gonna play 20 games, I wanna win most of them. Here's 20 bucks, let's play. That's already called Russian tanks. This thing has gun depression, guys. Look at this. Fuck off, you Russian. That, that's what, there's already, it's already in the game, right? There it is. But Yuri, we need to figure something out. Huh? What? Let's get pad out, we have to do calculation. Klaus Kellerman is uh, playing new tank. Oh, really? He has new tank, has gun, uh, 268 penetration, 268. American? Oh, Italian. <laughs> Uh, pasta Fazu. Yeah, okay, 268. But he has to shoot tank. First tank he shoots is Russian. <laughs> Stupid him. He take a shot at Russian tank. Which one? Object 430. Hmm. Very powerful Russian tank. Let's look. Let's look at details of Russian tank. Side armor. He takes shot on side, which is problem. We have to do a little bit fancy work here. Uh, 80. Okay, 80. 80 millimeters. Russian 80. Yes, Russian 80. Okay, so 268 penetration, plus or minus 25%. We obviously, we use minus 25%. We do calculation here. That's a 50, that's 210 still. Low roll is 210 millimeters penetration. Side armor 80. Carry the three. No pen for you! Fuck you! <laughs> and then you know, immediately, after you take that first shot, you know immediately that you will have, you will have a perfect 50% win rate, and you will know immediately that Everyone on your team, everyone, will uh, take three shots and do zero damage. Take one shot and do zero. Take three and do only two. Uh, take four and do two. Take nine and do one. Right? Take nine shots with this big gun and do only one. Death. Take 11 shots. 11 shots. And do one. Pet, right? And on and on and on. You know that that will be the outcome. And the enemy team will take uh, 15 shots in a tier 8 in a tier 9 game and do 11. You know, 11 out of 15, because why not? And then the other little tier 8 tank will take the, do 10 out of 19. The leopard will do, take 12 shots and penetrate 10. And on and on and on and on. And the game will be over in three minutes. Just check the numbers at the end. When you bounce your first shot on the side of a tank, when you have 268 penetration and he has 80 millimeters of side armor, just click, uh, go like this, click uh, exit. Just click exit, okay? 
And then it will say, do you really want to desert? And you say, yes. And you'll make more credits. And it'll last. You won't have to endure it. That's how, the, that's how it works. And I see, I call it even before it happens. And I go check the stats. And I know I bounced that first shot on the side of a Russian tank. Or any, you know, side of a, uh, of a manticore. Oh, critical hit. And then I know uh, the hit percentage on my team will be 15%. We, we will shoot 100 shots and 12 of them will do damage, 12 out of 100. And the enemy team will shoot 110 shots and 93 will do damage. And if you're a, 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 a fanboy, if you're, if you're a moron, you will say, no, it's random, Klaus. Starting conspiracies, they wouldn't do that. Get good. Put your tinfoil hat on. <sighs> Is it sleight of hand? Not sure. It's not rocket science, guys. It's almost every time when you bounce those, you bounce your first two or three shots, you just go, okay. Thanks. Uh, okay. And you know what? I was going to go, I'm not going to go up there. I've got good gun depression, but I, I, I could play this ridge line with the good gun depression, but you saw how easily. It's not like there's a difference between having gun depression and a strong turret. Then you can play those ridge lines and, and play that uh, close in game. But when you have good gun depression and no armor, you're better off uh, using your gun depression to make yourself a small target at range. You have an accurate gun, gun and no armor. That's probably a better. Come on. I'm glad they put these in the game. This is what we need in the game. Right? Just a way to make everyone rage. The poor Barosk moved up. These poor guys just started the game. They thought, oh, let's just move up. But this is safe. We're not even halfway. And they didn't notice that wheeled vehicle. And it's a shit show, right? Okay. Sorry, buddy. One yoloing lynx. Those poor guys, they didn't notice the links, and uh, they're, they're just simply dead. I want to be able to shoot them. I I'm just going to go to the other flank. One wheeled vehicle completely annihilated this flank. Everyone that was playing on that flank. KV5, what are you doing, buddy? Oh my god, these guys have just yoloed in. What are they doing? Ninety-five. Holy shit, man! I'm, I'm too. I might be too little, too late here, guys. 
And there I got the two kills. When you see that happening, you got a wheeled vehicle. You got to just desert or move. If you weren't there, buddy, I would have killed him. Those walls, when you gotta shoot through those walls, she just autoing. Well, the worst thing we could do is get farmed here. Artillery shoots me. That's why I went around the map so I could like approach him from Zaria. He was in a very already died, yeah. I'm actually gonna uh, pull a switcheroo. This is, uh, it depends where they've gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Cause I've got speed, there's eight minutes. Team. This could be a mistake. If, the, if they've gone back to base, it's, it's a mistake. Get to here, guys. Oh, okay, fair enough. Go reset. They will reset, right? They will reset. Yeah. I'm counting on them resetting or I would cap. Go reset, guys. Just, just go into the base there. Go reset. This, in hindsight, seems like it could be uh, I'm going the long way to nowhere. Take, oh, nicely done, buddy. Sacrificing his tank. What a shot. I've got time. You fucking kidding me? I got
You're pretty slow. Okay, we're just gonna auto lock on you. Like, how many times can I shoot the track wheel and do zero damage, guys? You like it up the ass? Oh, your track. Oh, 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 he's gonna get away from me. Oh! <laughs> how many? I was shooting the track wheel. Good. Zero. Zero damage. How was it not going into his hull? How many times did I shoot that track wheel? <laughs> Unbelievable. You shall not win. <laughs> we will do everything we can to stop you. It might have looked like I took the long way around there, guys, but I think that was the right move. That was the right move. Let's tell this guy. Where's the guy who's... He sacrificed himself? Let's... When someone does that, you say, Thanks for re... Setting. GG. He sacrificed his tank, went to reset, and we won the game. And that's the only reason we won, because he did that. If he didn't do that... I, I wouldn't have been able to get there in time, right? So. Let's get the radio. Service. Oh, no, not that. Research. <laughs> the only chance that guy had, that T-28, is if he put his ass up against that dead tank, and then he could have... He might have been able to get a, a shot in on me. Yuri, close won the match. Do not give him a human opponent. <laughs> Just bots. <laughs>